That is right, Raymond. We are coming to you live from the Ongwe Diva Trade Center right here in the Oshana region. This is for the National Skills Competition 2023. However, right now I am joined by Dr. Pea Mushelenga, who is the Minister of Communication, of Information and Communication Technology, here to bring us the latest cabinet uh, briefing. Uh, Dr. Mushelenga, it's over to you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, listeners and viewers. I'm going to present cabinet decisions that were taken at the 16th decision-making meeting of the cabinet that was held on the 27th of September 2023. First decision. State visit to the Republic of Namibia by His Excellency Miguel Das Canel Bermudez, President of the Republic of Cuba, from the 26th to the 28th of August 2023. Cabinet took note of the report of the state visit by the President of Cuba and directed the Ministries of International Relations and Cooperation, Urban and Rural Development, Industrialization and Trade, Works and Transport, Sports, Youth and National Service, Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security, Environment, Forestry and Tourism, and Fisheries and Marine Resources to take action in the areas of responsibility on the decisions reached and issues during the visit. Second decision. Adoption of the National Electrification Policy. Cabinet approved the National Electrification Policy and supported the Minister of Mines and Energy to investigate and establish the National Electrification Fund. Third decision. Request for approval for Namibia to express interest as the potential host country of the African Small and Medium Enterprises Forum in 2024. Cabinet approved Namibia's application to host the African Union Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Summit in 2024. Cabinet directed the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation to submit Namibia's expression of interest to host the African Small and Medium Enterprises Forum in 2024 at the soonest possible date to the head of industry Innovation and Minerals Division in the Economic Development, Trade, Tourism, Industry and Minerals Department at the African Union Commission. And Cabinet further authorized the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board to develop and submit an expression of interest for Namibia to host the African Union Small and Medium Enterprises Forum 2024. Fourth decision. Report of the World Water Week, 20th to the 24th August 2023, Stockholm, Sweden. Cabinet took note of the outcome of the 2023 World Water Week and endorsed that Namibia undertake the following activities to ensure water supply security for its citizens. Continue to ensure that every household in the country has access to safe drinking water and sanitation by the year 2020, 2030. Implement the recently enforced Water Resource Management Act 2013, number, Act number 11 of that year. And continue to invest in capacity building as well as conduct research and development in the water sector to keep pace with the developments contemplated at the World Water Week as well as United Nations Water Conference 2023. Continue to develop a database for all related water infrastructure, ensure better data collection, enhance governance systems, capacity development opportunities and addressing funding gaps in the water sector and continue financial support to river basin organizations such as the Orang Seki Commission, Kuvelai River Commission, 
Zabezi Water Course Commission, and Okabango River Commission. Fifth decision. Total allowable catch for Hake for the year 2023 to 2004 fishing season starting the 1st of November 2023 to the 30th of September 2024. Cabinet endorsed that Hake total allowance catch be set at 154,000 metric tons for the 2023 to 2024 fishing season as recommended by the Marine Resource Advisory Council. Sixth decision. Total allowable catch for rock lobster for the 2023-2024 fishing season commencing on the 1st of November 2023 until the 30th of April 2024. Cabinet endorsed the rock lobster total allowable catch to be set at 180 metric tons for the 2023 to 2024 fishing season as recommended by the Marine Resources Advisory Council. Here ends cabinet briefings and I thank you.